a wonderful Wednesday. It is wonderful Wednesday because a lot of good things are happening in our communities and one of the coolest things that are happening, <gasps> your kids are back in school. That means moms, you have time. You can go to the old lady sales on Tuesday where you get discounts. You can have lunch with your friends, except most of your friends are at work. You can do something, heck ladies, you can take a nap. But as school is back in session, we have to say a big shout out and a big thank you to everybody who is part of the school systems that we serve. From the janitorial staff, which I would say is cleaning up some disasters, to the bus drivers who are hauling that precious cargo, to the teachers, to the pair pros, to the lunchroom ladies. How could you get through a day of school without the lunchroom ladies? I can still smell walking into Grady High School we had the best little hamburgers and they made the buns themselves and they were so good. So those lunchroom ladies, give them a hug. Tell them thank you, thank you, thank you for everything they do. One of our local businesses is going to be a, doing a big thank you for the Pickens County School System. And this is all Pickens County School staff family. Join us on August the 19th, 2023 you all deserve a break from everything you do for our community, but you deserve something free. All staff bring your employee ID and receive a free lunch on them. This is Country Financial. This is Jim and Tiffany Haggard in the Jasper area. And again, this is for Pickens County Schools. And you're going to have music by Matt Chastain. Everybody knows how amazing Matt is. Activities, games, family fun, sideburners barbecue, amazing barbecue, cornhole, cornhole tournament, jumpy house, and snow cones. All of this is compliments of Country Financial. And you can be there if you are in the Pickens County School System. From the janitorial services to the bus drivers to the principal, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're over the transportation department, you are welcome to come. Bring your school ID, bring your family, and come again on August the 19th. And it is 2023, and I'm looking for the time. And you know what? Let's see. Is the time on there? Uh, join us on August the 12th for lunch. So, and this is at the Chamber of Commerce building, 500 Veterans Memorial Boulevard, and that is right in Jasper on Highway 53, real easy to find. And again, lunch is compliments of Country Financial. And let me tell you a, bit, a little lesson about insurance. Know who you're dealing with. Get you an agent that's going to live. One of my agents, and I loved him to death, he had been my agent for many, many years, has gone on to be with Jesus. I can't ask him any questions, but I can pick up the phone and call Tiffany and I can get an answer to a question. That's really, really nice. It's really nice. But if you're shopping for insurance, get out and make sure you make the best decision possible for you. It is so very, very important. And uh, being a part of our community for as long as she has, she is there for you and she will respond. So pick up the phone and call her. And again, if you are in the Pickens County School System, remember on August the 19th, lunch is on them. Fun and games and a bouncy house and snow cones and everything that your children will enjoy. Well, let me tell you what I've been enjoying as the mama-in-law of the boy who was half the team that won the big tournament. I'm so excited. But I'm not just excited because they did win some money. I'm excited to see the life that Lonnie Fountain has lived come to be with this award. I mean, this is amazing to see Bill Dance, who was the promoter of this thing with tears in his eyes. This was a really cool thing. These boys have been fishing since they were little bitty kids when they caught fish to put food on the table for themselves and their siblings. This is not just a love for fishing. This is a love for life. And I am so proud of these guys. And I get tickled because Dawn won 2019. She won Lady, Lady Angler of the Year. That is a big deal for a woman. She also beat her husband out that year with big fish. And it was funny as heck because then Dawn and Lonnie quit fishing together. And Lonnie went back to fishing with his brother Donnie. And they said this weekend at this tournament, Donnie would catch a fish and Lonnie would catch a bigger one. Donnie would catch a fish and Lonnie would catch a bigger one. And I said, I know it had to tickle Lonnie to death because he is the older twin. 
Twins are a whole lot alike in many ways and very different in other ways, but these two nailed it, and I am so very, very proud of them. And to, to the sponsors, to everybody who has helped them, they've worked hard to get good sponsors, and they have some great sponsors. There were times that they were fishing in tournaments that they barely had the money to get the gas to get to the tournaments, much less have anything to eat on. So they have struggled, and it has now paid off, and I'm so very, very proud of them. And thank you to the Pickens County Progress for doing a great article about them that is on the front page. So yay, these are these are truly Pickens County boys who have been there all their life. They've worked hard in their roofing business for over 40 years. They are the guys you can depend on, and uh, it's an honor to have one of them as my son-in-law. So, but to Dawn and her fishing, she really she kept saying. Mama, we fish all the time, and I love it, I love it, and there's no place any more peaceful than being on the lake with God early in the morning, and then it got to a point her animals were being neglected. She felt like the kids were being neglected, and so she did come off the road with him, and, and he and Donnie started fishing together, and it's, it's a perfect team because those twins are just amazing together. Speaking of twins, um, a, a mama goat down in ball ground had twins, and one of them didn't survive. But the other precious, precious little one did survive, and praying that it will start eating. The mom has not been very active in, in a role as her caretaker, and I don't know if it's because she's depressed because she lost one of them. But this baby goat is the sweetest thing ever. And y'all just say a little prayer that it starts eating and it starts doing good. It's being fed now by, by a dropper. And um, I tried the baby bottle. That didn't work. It didn't like that. So, so, but this little goat is so precious and so tiny. I think probably weighs between three and three and a half pounds. So when you think that's like a premature baby, baby. But look at that, how darling it is. It is so cute. It is so cute, and it's so tiny. And just and it has the sweetest little cry when it's hungry. And it's just, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be tough to get it to survive, but I hope that it will. And I hope that in months to come, you'll get to see big pictures of it when it grows up to look like its mom. And uh, I hope that its mom becomes more attached to it because so far they haven't bonded much. And I, I think the mom's in, you know, maybe in a depression from losing the other twin. But, but that's, what, uh, that's, what nature, that's what nature does. Nature often takes care of itself. And, and this little thing, it was born on a very, very stormy night. And I don't know what its name's going to be. Don't even know if it's a girl or a boy. But I think stormy sounds pretty, pretty appropriate because it was born on a very stormy night. And of all times... That mom, see how she's rejecting that baby, and it's just, it's so weird. It's, its I guess that's human nature. I don't know. I feel sorry for the mom because she got a whole lot of milk, and that baby could help her relieve her pressure, but, but it is what it is. And uh, just say a little prayer that that baby goat makes it because it's, it, I think at this stage it's pretty fragile. So today we're going to share some things with you that I love. You know I love my grandkids. You know, you know I love my kids. But there's something about watching these grandbabies grow up. And honestly, y'all, when it got to a point, Tori is 35. Don't tell her I told y'all her age. She's 35. I can remember the day Tori was born and those tiny little feet and that tiny little curly hair. And I'm like, she's 35. Oh, my gosh. What does that make me older than dirt? Yesterday, I spent my day with um, a really good oncologist, and um, I have a lot of tests coming up in the future, and I was sharing some of the information with Tori, and I said, okay, I'm sending you copies of my labs because I want you to have this as records for you. Genetics are so important, and sometimes genetics play a big role, and sometimes they don't, but the doctor said, I'm going to do a test on you that you will be able to share with your children and your grandchildren. And I thought, that's pretty pretty cool that he was willing to do that because it means it gives my grandchildren and my children an edge on watching what they need to be aware of. He also said that one of the good things is, even though mother's cancer traveled really, really big, hard, fast, and took her, um, doesn't necessarily happen all the time. And so we were kind of going over my Aunt Bessie's kids and my Aunt Annie's kids and my going through your family genetics. It's amazing when you look at families like my husband. He was the only person to ever have cancer in that family, and it took him out of here at 57 years old. 
he was the only person. So is it genetics or is it our lifestyle? Maybe we should look at both. And so I'm very, very thankful that Dr. Geller is going to, they're doing testing on me that's going to show, do I have that predisposition from my mom and my dad or is it just the luck of the draw? We don't know. We don't know. But I think it's interesting that there are tests available. And so um, we'll see. We'll see. We have, I have about a week's more testing and then we'll have some results and I'm going to declare them to be good results. Good results. Let's just pray for that and say it's going to happen. It's got to happen. I want to live to see all my grandchildren grow up. I want to live to see them succeed. I want to live to see them enjoy life. And I think that's what life has to be to all of us. We have to enjoy something about somebody else. It can't be all about ourselves. And I, I got this. I love George Wynn. And he sends these things out all the time. And I read them. And sometimes I save them. Sometimes I don't. Today I saved it. A bad attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere until you change it. That's life. That's life. If you're going through life with a bad attitude and you're treating people badly and you think that you're all that, no, nah, you're wrong. The Lord will slam the brakes on and change you real quick and you will learn fast that it is, um, you know, a bad attitude can change things for you. Also, another one that I really, really like, and this is kind of how I look at my son-in-law and his brother. Nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude realizing his goals. Nothing on earth can help the man with the wrong mental attitude. And that was by Thomas Jefferson who died in the late 1800s. So a long time ago people knew that your attitude toward others and your attitude toward life can often change the way the road goes for you. And when I look at Lonnie and Donnie, I think about what they have done to give back to others. And uh, one of my favorite things they do is to do selling plates of food to raise money for the local nursing home. That's what it's about. It's about not saying, hey, this is for me and I can do this and I can do this. No, it's about giving back to others. And we all have the ability to do that. Whether you want to go to your kid's class and volunteer to read to the children, whether you want to go to your kid's class and volunteer to take a meal for them, whether you want to go to the school and say, hey, I've got a little extra money. If there's a kid here who can't afford lunch, I'd like to put $25 toward their lunch, t lunch meals. Do something for somebody else, and I guarantee you it will come back to you, and it will bless you. And we've been blessed so much in our family. And when I look at Tori living the dream in Alaska, you know how hard it is to be a grandma to a kid in Alaska? I never get to see her once every couple of years. And it's hard, but I'm so very, very proud of her. And as she was like the first grandbaby to get out and, and leave and, and just never come back. She just said, Nanny, I love Alaska. And I probably will never move back to Georgia. That's hard to accept, but then we've got the kids that we get to see on a daily basis, the kids that we get to spend time with, and you get to watch every single moment of their growth. Well, we were pulling videos today that I wanted to share because Riker just started school. I can't believe he's big enough to go to school, and he is. And I'm going, oh my gosh, it changes everything because then your children are influenced by other people. Your children are influenced by how they feel about other kids. They either get along with them great and play great, or they don't get along at all. Riker is a very kind and loving child, and I hope that the school teacher comes in and says, that's the sweetest little boy ever, not he's a holy terror, because he's not. He's so precious, but we started pulling videos, and we're going to share some of those with y'all today. We're also going to share something that's very precious to me. Our friend, Tim Cavender, and his beautiful wife, Pam, have been Mr. and Mrs. Claus for ball ground. This is the 50th year of the Christmas parade. And if you've been to ball ground, we have a better parade than anybody. I'm sorry, Macy's, all you people, we got you nailed. We got it just knocked out of there because Tim Kavanagh and his wife have done everything in the world to make it very, very special. 5,000 people at least attend our parade. It is crazy busy. It is packed. People get there early. So this Saturday, we are honoring not only our local Hall of Fame Santa Claus, we're, we're just going to honor all our local businesses. They're going to be doing some specials, some discounts, some special pricing, some giveaways, some stop by our office and get face painting done, stop by our office and learn to paint. We have a local artist who's going to be there. And we're going to be giving back in August. We're going to have a little Christmas, 
little Christmas get together. And we want to honor Pam and Tim because Pam and Tim have meant so much to the community. And as he grew in his, everybody knows who our Santa is. Everybody knows, I'm going to sneeze y'all. Everybody knows that Tim is just the best. Tim has had some medical issues and I need for you to please pray for him. His goal is to be leading that 50th parade and we sure want it to happen. So please pray for he and Pam, pray that both of them, their health is doing well and that we can have them sitting on that sleigh as they come down Main Street when we do honor all those who work so hard to make this Christmas parade absolutely amazing. We have the best and we want y'all to come out, but we want you to come out Saturday August the 12th to downtown ball ground and just stop in the shops get to know our business owners get to know our restaurants They'll be offering some specials some drawings some giveaways just different things to remind you that we are a small local city with businesses that are open all the time and businesses who chose to come to that tiny place and risk everything and so please come out and support them and uh, get to know the nice shop owners so that's going to happen this saturday and again stop by our office we are talking rock realty it's now a virtual properties realty trr and we love being in this community i can walk to work evelyn can walk to work We've kind of got it made, and we know it, and we love it. So we want you to stop by our office, and uh, we'd love to see you on Saturday. I think we're going to do it from like 10 to 4. I believe that's right. So so get out and come and visit with us and uh, get to know Patricia, and she will be giving some painting classes. She does painting for people who have been traumatized, whether it be military who came home with all kinds of issues that they're dealing with or people who are recovering from an addiction. She works tirelessly to help others to know that God steps in and will help you through no matter what you're facing. So, yeah, come out and be with us. We're going to go now to a little bit of footage of Tim and Pam as they were here at ETC. Um, what an honor it always is to have them. What an honor it is to remember all they've done for our community. And you talk about the best ho-ho. He is the best ho-ho. So here we go. During this time. And Miss Sherry, I know you have been wonderful to help and to, to, to give to others, to give of your time. And, and uh, we ask that everybody out there that's, that's watching today do, do the same thing. So, Mrs. Claus, do you have anything to add to that? You know, I was just listening to Miss Jen, who's helping Sherry out today, and she was talking about working at the Crisis Center. Yes. And that's a, a good way to get in Ducktown. That's a great way to, to give back. If you can't give money or, or you, if you want to do a, have a personal touch with people, do something just like that. Just give them your time. Just your time. Yes, yeah. just give them your time. Even if you don't have money, go by and, and visit the families and, and uh, share some time with uh, your family members that may not be able to get outside, uh, like mm -hmm. your grandparents and the elderly, uh, because sometimes they're very lonely during this time of the year. So it's very important that we share the love of the Christmas season with everybody out there. So that's my desire and my wish for you that you'll... Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, my guest, Ansley, Victoria, Ruth, Taylor, my granddaughter is home from college. Great to have you here. Thanks. We're gonna make homemade cookies for Santa. A recipe that I have gotten as a gift many Christmases from my friend Miss Olga Burgess in Albertville, Alabama, but I've never made them. And you're, you're game, so we're going to make them, right? Why not? We're going to make them. Tori, tell me the ingredients. We're going to use two sticks of margarine, three-fourths a cup of sugar, a half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of salt, <laughs> half a teaspoon of vinegar, white vinegar, half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one and three-fourths cups plain flour, and a cup of pecans. Sounds good. Tori, let's put these cookies together. Let's do it. Okay, we have two sticks of butter that we're going to cream with our sugar. Okay, Tori, we're going to cream the butter and sugar together. We have softened, actually this is margarine, and everybody who knows my cooking knows I don't use margarine, but tonight we're using margarine. Okay, Tori, tell me what we do next. We have creamed the sugar and butter. All right, so if you've creamed the margarine and the sugar together, now you're going to add the salt and vanilla and then slowly add the flour as you mix it up together. Right. And then the vinegar and the baking soda, we had to mix together half a teaspoon of each. Right. Set it aside for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then it does... I think it becomes a new compound that helps the cookies stay together. That's Absolutely. what I'm thinking. I think it makes them the crunchy little crispy taste they have. So um, we're going to add our vanilla. That's... 
a teaspoon, right? <laughs> Looks like it to me. In this kitchen it is. And salt. We're going to add our salt. And Do you want to be mixing it? I'm going to be mixing it, yes. And we're going to slowly add the flour, just a little bit at a time. Gotta scrape the baking soda in there. Scrape it right in the middle. We're gonna scoop this into a bowl and refrigerate it for a little while, let it chill. And we're gonna be working on one of our family's favorite things. What is that, Jory? Krispy Kreme Christmas trees. Krispy Kreme. And when you see the hot sign, you know our car pulls up. Tori, is that tree beautiful? It is adorable. Now, honestly, today, when I walked in with three dozen donuts, did you think I'd lost my mind? No, I thought you were the greatest grandmother <laughs> to grace this planet. <laughs> and you took some decorating tubes, mm -hmm. and you created, has the hot sign and all. What okay. does it say? It says hot donuts right now. Hot donuts right now. And we know that sign, don't we? Oh, it translates to pull in, pull in. <laughs> it does, it does. And now Ansley is waiting to taste this. And I think that's going to be a good dessert, don't you? I think we can let her dive into it. I think we can think do so. that. I think we can do it's that. It's about time we broke her in. It's time. It's time. She's another generation coming along. Yep. Tori, I think our dough is chill. Oh, I'm so excited about making these. Okay, Tori, we're going to add our pecans. We have a cup of pecans that we're adding to our mixture, and we're going to roll this in small balls. Now, Nanny, for people that don't like pecans, why are they not optional in this recipe? Well, you can do it without it, but we, um, my sister-in-law tried it without pecans because one of her family members didn't like them, and she said it just needed that kick. But, you know, if you don't like nuts or if you can't eat nuts, by all means, try it. Now, we are going to roll these into small balls quickly before the dough gets warm. And I promise you, these will melt in your mouth. If they're as good as Miss Olga's, I think I hear Santa. Are those sleigh bells? <gasps> I sure we better hope. hurry. Oh, we better hurry. Oh, my goodness. You know, he'll be so impressed. Okay, let's stick these. You stick right. these in the oven. And remember, the oven's on 325. And we use a convection oven. Wow, Tori, they smell great. Fresh out of the oven. They're warm. And if we hurry, I think I heard some sleigh bells. <gasps> I hear sleigh bells. Tori, hurry, take them in there and let's get ready. Santa's going to be coming down the chimney. And we want to pretend we're asleep. Ho, ho, ho! Whoever made these cookies will be getting a lot of presents for Christmas. <laughs> From our house to yours, Merry Christmas and may God bless you. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ball Ground offers creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park, and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779.
Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high-quality, holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third-generation race car driver, and we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories. Writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. destroy the cake. Tuesday is always Riker Day and two-year-old cooking, having fun, creating memories. Okay, wait now. Let's see. What is this? A strawberry? Is that a strawberry? Did old McDonald's farm grow that? Did Nanny bake this cake? No. Don't tell anybody, Riker, but Nanny went to Ingalls Bakery and I bought this cake and look what we're going to do with it. We're going to take one third of it and we're gonna put it right down in here. Look at that, see? Nanny put it right down in there. And then look, I'm gonna let you, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Now don't get ahead of me. And Nanny has this secret. This is my secret recipe. I need you to take your Mickey Mouse spatula, here. And I need you to, can you rub all this down for me? Can you do that? Can you do this? Will you do that for me? No. no. Why don't you want to do it? Okay. You want to use the spurtle. Okay, go ahead and use the spurtle. Go ahead. You can use whatever you want to use. You got it? Okay. Now, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. And then Nanny is going to put, this is a tropical cake because we really want to be at the beach today. So we're putting in some pineapple. This is just crushed pineapple in its own juice. And this is in with our cheesecake mix. Are you gonna get that Nanny's face and you're gonna get it all over Nanny? I see you getting it on Nanny. Okay, hang, hang tight. Can you hold this just a minute? Okay, now look what we're gonna do. Watch. Fresh strawberries from Florida. Look at that. Fresh strawberries. Yum. Riker, do you like strawberries? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's the cake. We're going to get it in just a minute. Wait just a minute. Nanny will pick it up. Nanny will be the one to pick it up so we won't make a mess, okay? Mm -hmm. Can I do it, please? Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Let me do it. Do you want to tell everybody have a happy day? Can you say happy day? Happy, happy, happy. Happy day. Mm -hmm. Happy day, everybody. It's a Riker happy day. Okay, okay, now look. We put one layer of cake. We put the cream, this is the cream cheese, but the cream cheese ingredients, look, you can't see it, can you? Now look what we're doing next. We're putting one more layer on, and we have to kind of mush it in there. We're gonna mush it, mush it, mush it, mush it, mush it. <laughs> now look, wait, 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 that's the last one. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And we're just gonna put more cream cheese. This is, this is actually a Lazy Man's Cheesecake. This is Lazy Man's Cheesecake. This is what we call 
a super simple dessert. When somebody comes over, you have no idea that guests are coming, but you have these great things in your freezer. You buy a cake, you have it there ready to use. And then when company pops over, you just do this. Are oh, you putting your hands all over that cake? Well, I washed your hands, so I guess that's okay. And baby cooties are not bad. Baby cooties are good, so that's okay. Did you and Daddy go to the park today? Hmm? Did y'all go to the park and did you have fun? Did you swing? Did you get on the swings? Did you feed the ducks? Huh? Did you feed the ducks? Duck, duck. Duck, duck. Duck, duck. Quack, quack. What does the duck say? What did Daddy do? Did he feed it bread? Did he feed the duckies bread? Okay, now there's one more layer. Now look at this. And we have to scrunch it in the bowl. There you go. Yama, 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 yama. Yama. And we're going to put just a... Wait, wait. 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 What are you trying to get? A strawberry? Do you want a strawberry? No. Do you want a strawberry? Okay. We're going to put a strawberry in the cheesecake. Do you want one? That's an awful big one. Let's get you a smaller one. You want to get a little one? You want to try that? Okay. Try it. Tell everybody how good it is. Can you do that? And tell everybody how yummy it is? Can you do that? Can you say, this is so yummy? This is so yummy? Huh? Can you do that now? Bracker, how simple was this cake? All you had to do was stick your fingers and stuff while Nanny played in it. And then Nanny is gonna sneak in here and get a little of the staple at our house. Just a little, just a little bit. A chocolate syrup. Does Riker love chocolate? Does Riker love chocolate? Does Riker love strawberries? Was that strawberry good? Now, Riker likes this, don't you? You like this? Yama, yama, yama. Oh, okay. We're gonna go. Is that cool? Is that cool? Ask Daddy what he thinks of that quick and easy cake. We're going to call it super speedy cake because that is a super, super speedy dessert. And it is so simple and anybody can do it. And you can see the layers. We have the cheesecake. We have the strawberries. Then we added. And how simple is that? And you can do this in five minutes, guys. That's what's so great about it. And you can do it with your assistant is not cooperating tonight because he was really tired. And he just wanted to eat strawberries and have fun. I said, I'm not, I'm not interested in learning anything tonight, Nanny. There you go, again, quick and simple. And I gotta show you the ingredients, guys. This is Philadelphia Cheesecake No Bake. I get this at Publix. Super simple, keep it in the fridge. Keep a um, angel food cake in the freezer. Go to Ingles and pick one up on sale and then have it, and when guests come over, then you just throw this stuff together. You can keep pineapples, you can keep blueberries frozen to use in this. You can certainly use strawberries when they're in season. And the next thing we're gonna make, we're gonna make Daddy a strawberry waffle. Would that be good? Do you think Daddy would like that? Yeah. Do you wanna tell everybody bye now? Cause we're gonna go and we're gonna clean up this mess and then we're gonna start another mess. Do you wanna tell them bye bye? Can you look up there at Daddy and wave bye-bye? Huh? Yeah. Riker John. No, I'm too busy, guys. Say bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. We'll see you again soon. Tuesday night with this sweet tea. Can you see that Riker? What does the honey Riker cook? Look. Nanny's going to show you how to do this. This is our pan that we're going to put bread pudding in. Oh, see this? You coat it in butter. Yeah. See, you can touch it. Woo! That's butter on your hand now. Okay, all right. <laughs> you got butter on your hand? Oh, now we got a problem. Okay, we got butter on your hand. This is the simplest bread pudding and it is so yummy. 
And we're gonna start right here. I want you to, no. wait a minute, I'm gonna help you hold it. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna crack the egg. Crack it again. Okay, wait, gotta crack on the side one more time. Good boy, crack again. <gasps> it's coming. Okay, now look, you did it. Oh! I touched it? You did it, you can touch it if you want to. Okay, here, you're gonna do one more. One more. One more, okay, crack it. Crack, crack. You crack till you hear it pop. There you go. You heard it pop. Now, we're going to get it. Oh, be careful so the shell doesn't go in there. Okay, cool. Now, we're going to show everybody. Look, one of them busted and one of them didn't. See? But that's okay. Now, you're going to stir this. Can you stir this like this for Nanny? Stir, 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 stir. I'll touch it now. You can touch it now if you want to, because you're going to be eating this, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You can touch it now? Okay. No, no. Okay, now. Now listen, okay, to this, Riker, look, this is a cup. We're going to add some sugar. <gasps> Mickey now. Now you stir it now. Oh, how cool is that? Look, stir and stir. And do you remember that Uncle Tim got you this bowl for your birthday? Did you know that? Okay, now look. Wow. Nanny, Nanny helps you get the sugar in there really, really good. Now, wow. look at what we're going to do now. Nope, no. Let me tell you what we're going to do now. Wait, we're going to put bananas in there. Yeah. See the bananas? Yeah. Okay. Now you're going to stir the bananas in. Can you do that? Oh. Oh, you can do it. Yeah. You got it? Ooh. So we have eggs, sugar, bananas. How yeah, about that? Yeah, good. Is that cool? Yeah, I'm good. You're good at this? You're yeah, really good yeah, at this? I'm very really good. You're really good at this, okay. And now, Nanny me... is gonna give you, let me show you this. Hold that down, hold it down. We're gonna give you silk, vanilla almond milk, 80 calories. And there you go, there's that. Okay, now gently. Stir, as Nanny adds it, you stir, gently, stir, stir. Wow, okay, cool. keep it in the bowl. Okay. Very cool. Very cool? Yeah. Keep it in the bowl. Wow. Okay, you got it in the bowl? Yeah. Now, let me yeah. show you the magic. Yeah. We're gonna trade Riker's bowl for Nanny's bowl. And in Nanny's bowl is the spurtle that you love. Let me tell you what this is. This is condensed milk. And we're going to add Riker's ingredients to Nanny's condensed milk. And then it gives us more room to put the rest of the milk. And we're going to put just a little bit more. Okay, can you stir that up now? And I'm going to teach you a lesson that my mommy taught me. I want you to smell this. Can you smell this? Yeah. Doesn't it smell good? Yeah. Vanilla smells so good. But you know what vanilla tastes like if you put it in your mouth? It's not good until you mix it with food. If you just taste it by itself, it's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. Are you getting it? Get the spurtle and just stir, stir, stir. You're doing a great job. We have to get all the condensed milk off the bottom of the bowl. Yeah. You're doing really, really good. Thank you. Now, let me tell you about this. This is an apple cake that Nanny bought at the store and it was not yummy. It was dry. So Nanny created this recipe using the dry cake because you've got to doctor a dry cake. I mix it. You mix it. Now yeah. hold your spurtle down in there and you just do this. Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Keep stirring. Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah. Yeah. You want me to help you a little bit? You go ahead. I'm going to get a spoon so I can also help you. Yeah. Let me get a... She did. She did help. I'm going to help you. Yeah. Nanny's going to help you. Bam, 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 bam. Did you watch Emeril Lagasse? He says bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Are you going to be Emeril Lagasse's helper? No, I'm going to mix it now. Yeah, now. Do you want to try this spoon? Yeah. Uh-oh, wait a minute. We're losing some. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more milk. See that? That's almond milk. It's vanilla almond milk. Okay, is that cool? Yeah. Now we're not gonna stir it too much because we don't want it to get mushy, okay? Is that really cool? Yeah. Now, let me show you this. Okay, hold tight. I'm gonna put the nuts in and then I want you to stir up. These are candy pecans. 
Yeah. Can you stir all that up? Eat this. Can you do that? Eat this. Get your spurtle down in there. Stir, stir, stir. We want to get the pecans all the way through it. Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah, we'll eat it in a little bit after we cook it. Your daddy nuts. loves this. I eat a nut. Your daddy loves Yo, you'll eat a nut. Your daddy loves this. Wow. I'm done. Daddy loves it. I'm done. Is it done? Yeah. It's almost done. A bee. A little bit more cake we're going to put in there. A little bit more. And a little bit more milk. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. And a little bit more milk. Ooh. Now see how simple this was, Riker? Yeah. What do you think of this? Yeah. Think you're going to like it? I think it's going to be exciting when it comes out of the oven and Riker made it. How cool. Oh, I like it. Can you say spurtle? Spurtle. Spurtle. Yeah. Jen gave us that spurtle for Christmas. Did you know that? Yeah. Jen gave it to you. Okay, now, Nanny's gonna pour half of it in this pan. Let me take it up. And I'm gonna, because when you make when you're pudding, you make it to share with neighbors. Yes. So, hold still, that's got butter in the pan. So we're gonna make some for us and some for neighbors. And that's what you do, you share. Yeah. That's how you're supposed to be a good neighbor. I touch it. You can touch it if you want to, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What do you think of that? Oh, a milk. Wow, what do you think of it? It's a milk. Now, hang tight. Nanny's got to get a knife. Hold tight and don't put your hands all over it. Let's get a knife and let's put a little bit of butter. Now, look, we're going to dollop. Okay, mm -hmm. here. Cut. Can you put the butter in there? Yeah. Put the butter on top of it. Okay. Now here's more butter, get the butter, and just put butter here and there. Just a little butter here and a little butter there. It's good, like that. Like that. Like that. I think that's plenty of butter. Okay. No, yeah, it's good. Okay, now can we show everybody? And we're gonna put this one in the oven. And we're gonna cook it for about 25 minutes on 350. Can you chill? Yeah, we're not gonna put an eggshell in it. Can you tell people what this is? Bread pudding. Can you say bread pudding? Yeah, bread pudding. Bread pudding, yeah. So there you go, there's Riker's lesson with bread pudding. Thanks everybody for tuning in and we'll show you the finished Mommy, product in Mommy. just a little bit. I can't do it. Yeah, you can do it, squeeze tight. Oh, there you go. That looks like food. You squeeze a little bit more, okay. That okay. looks like poo. That looks like poo, okay. <laughs> That's good. Now, yeah. now mix it all up. Now, wait a minute. No, 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 not yet. It's too hot to mix up yet. Hold on just a minute. Now put... Hang on just a minute. Now put dough in the egg. Okay, hold on. We're going to do it this way. Hang on just a minute. We're going to reverse it. We're going to put it right here. See the potatoes? And see Riker? Yay! Hold tight. We're gonna be back in just a minute, y'all. That racker? Is that mustard and ketchup? Is that mustard and ketchup all mixed together? With Nathan's hot dogs in it? Nathan's hot dogs are so good, aren't they? It's really hot too. Very good. It's really hot too. And that's mustard and ketchup? Do you want some onion? Riker, do you want some onion? Yes. How much onion do you want? Now, remember Nanny told you that onion's a little bit hot. Are you sure you want onion? No. No, I didn't think so. Yeah. Okay, do you want to taste a bite of that so you can show everybody how good Nathan's hot dogs are? No, you try one. Okay, I'll try one. Thank you. That's sweet of you to make it for me. <gasps> oh, how good. How yummy. It's really hot. No, it's not. Isn't that hot? No, you want to try it? I think you'll love it. Oh my goodness gracious. That is so yummy. Yes. Yummy, yummy. Mm, isn't that good? Say, mm -hmm. Nathan's has got the hot dogs going on. I want my Santa to come here at your house. Oh, Santa might come here too. Do you want to put mustard and ketchup on your hot dog? Yes. Okay, put it on there and then taste it. So you can tell Nathan's hot dogs how good they are. Yummy. 
Okay. <gasps> that is so good. I really like you. It's good. Yum. Say yummy, yummy, yummy. You eat one of those. I ate one. Yeah, thank you so much. That was so sweet of you to share with me. <laughs> Christmas is about sharing and caring and being good to everybody, isn't it? <gasps> isn't that good? Mommy's going to be so excited that you cooked supper. <gasps> no, 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 no. You got to chew it up and eat it because Mommy will be so proud of you. And Elf on the Shelf is watching to make sure you eat your supper. Chew um, it up good. Chew it up good. Uh, 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 you did not. <laughs> Pillsbury Doughboy bowl for me, and a bowl for Nanny, and a bowl for Daddy. We have a big bowl too, but we're not going to make Daddy cook tonight. But we're going to teach you how to make tiny we little try, baby biscuits. Try. Okay. Try. Can you see that? Okay. I'm going to put, see this, Riker? Look at this. Okay. I want you to mix that up in the flour. Can you do that? That too. Yes. Look at Nanny. I want you to watch Nanny. Nanny's going to do it like this. Okay. See? Look at this. Can you mix up your... That's Crisco. Yeah. Crisco. It'll do you proud every time. Put, okay, put your hands in there like this. Okay? Can you mix it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mix it with your fingers like this. See how Nanny's mixing it? Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, can you do that? Can you do that? Okay. Okay, no, not all done. <laughs> not quite all done. Okay. Okay, we got it like that. Now look. Now Nanny's going to do a trick. Watch the trick now. This is very simple. Trust yep. Nanny. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We're going to put a little tiny bit of milk. Just a little bit of milk. Okay, wait now. Wait. Okay, now this is how you do it. We get it going, we're gonna make a well. You see the well? You see the well that Nanny's got? Yeah. See that? Yeah. Now these are gonna be your little baby biscuits. Nanny's making, okay. Now wait. Little biscuits. Little biscuits for Riker. Okay. No, real Say biscuits. Bi big boy biscuits, yeah. not baby yeah. biscuits. Now look, okay. Not Here. baby biscuits. Not baby biscuits, okay. Big boy biscuits, cause you're three now, right? No. Okay, put your fingers in it. Thank you. Okay, put your fingers no. in it. Do you feel it? The milk on me. Do you feel it? It's cold. I get <laughs> Can you feel it? Are you scared of it? Yeah. Can you I feel it? Me. Okay, now this is what we're going to do. You feel it again like Nanny is. See how Nanny's... You use your hands to make biscuits. Stir it up. Can Mix it up, Riker. Don't eat it. No, yeah, it's no good. It it's not like cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not like cake mix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can play with that for just a minute. Mm -hmm. Mix it up. Mix it up good. It's not going to hurt you. Yeah. Stick your hands down in there. Yeah, mix it up. Oh. You can do it. You can do it. So mix it up. Mix it up good. Nanny's going to show you what I did with mine. See what I did with mine? I get it out. And we're going to pat it out. Pat it out. Yep, you can pat it for me. Pat it for me. Look. Okay, Riker, look. I'm going to dip your hands in flour. Okay, now I want you to pat this out. Pat it out. Pat it gently, like this. Little gently. See? How sweet is that? Is that not cool? Hold tight. Now you stay right there. You stay right there. And then we're going to do... Don't eat it. It's not good, Bubba. No. You're not going to eat it like that. Look. Watch this, Riker. Look. Look at that. We're making little bitty biscuits. No. A big biscuit. Okay. A big boy can eat these, but they're little because it's at night and we don't want much to eat. But look at that. These are little tea biscuits. Can you see that? And then we're going to make Rikers in just a minute. And you know what we're going to put on them? Some cinnamon and sugar. Would that be good? Hey, Dad. See? That's a biscuit. And did you, you got to mash that. And I'm going to let you mash this one in just a minute. Is that cool? Yeah. 
Do you love your bowl that Mr. Tim gave you? Look at that. The Pillsbury Dough Boy. How precious is that? Now we're going to put these together. We try. Okay, wait just a minute. We've got one more here that you're going to do. Hang on just a minute. Okay, we've got little bitty biscuits. And it's because it's late at night. And we're just doing this to have our play date. You know? So, is that cool? Is that cool? So let's do this one. And we're gonna do that one. And then we're gonna put, okay, here's Riker's dough. That was Nanny's dough. Okay, now look Riker, I want you to mash all that out. Mash, 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 mash. Okay, all the way down this side. This side's over here, thank you. Ooh, you're touching me. You're touching it. What do you think of that? I'm taking on my finger. You got it on your fingers, didn't you? Okay, now we're going to cut them out. Here's one little bitty. Uh-oh, Nanny missed it. We'll have to get it. There you go. Okay. All right, hold tight. Hold tight. Okay, see how the little biscuit comes out? Don't hurt your bowl now. Those are really sweet bowls that... Uncle Tim got you. Isn't that the sweetest birthday present for a little boy who loves to cook? How sweet is that? Oh, now put that back in there. We save that for next time. How about that? Nope. Yeah, we save it. We use it again. We sift it. Is that good? Is that good? Okay, now look. I'm going to let you play in it one more time. Put your hands over here. Okay, now I want you to. Wait a minute. Put flour on your hands. How's that feel? Is that pretty cool? Okay, hang tight. Now, Nanny's gonna cut that one. Is that cool? Do you love this? Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm so glad. And now, okay, now save that flour because we're gonna use it later. And this is what you call a sugar biscuit. And they used to sell these at the Welcome Junction in Jasper, and Nanny loved them. Oh, Nanny loved them, loved them, loved them. This is a tea sugar biscuit. I do it. Yeah, that cinnamon on it. Is that cool? And then when it comes out, we coat them with butter. Do you like that? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna cook it now. So you stay here and you talk to Daddy. Will you tell Daddy whose birthday it was? Mine. How old did you turn? Three. Can you show me on your fingers? Show me three. Show me three on your fingers. How old? See, remember? Three. Look. Look, remember? Three. Just like oh, that. Oh, dirty. Yep. Dirty. They're dirty. Oh, dirty. Yep. <laughs> oh, dirty. Okay, you ready? Okay, Riker is helping Nanny, and we have put potatoes it and goes. mustard. It put, goes. put all the pickles. Can you do it? Yes. There you go. And I'll tell you what, these are homemade pickles that Gail made, and they're so yummy. Do you see that? I want to make sure all uh, uh. Now tell me what this is. It's, it's it, What is that? Cabbage. Is that mayonnaise? Yes. Oh, wait, 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 we got to get a spoon. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's is sweet. that, is that mayonnaise? Yes. Okay, I want you to put mayonnaise in there. Ooh. A lot of mayonnaise. How about if Nanny puts it and you stir it? Is that going to be good? Yes. Is that gonna be fun? Yeah. Okay. That'll be really, really good. Is that gonna be really, really good? Yes. Do you love mayonnaise? Are we cooking it again? No, we're not gonna cook it again. We're gonna stir it though. Wait just a minute and let Nanny get you the spoon. Mm -hmm. Okay, now be very, very careful. Keep it in the, uh-uh. That's what I was afraid of. We have to keep it in the pan. Do you want me to put it in a different bowl? Yes. Or can you do it like Nanny's doing? Do it like this, okay? If you do it like that, you can do it and not make a mess. Can you do that? Do like Nanny did it. Do like Nanny did it. There you go. See? Just uh, like this. Yummy. You can do it. It's not yeah. And we've got to, we have to cut an, an onion to go in it. You're going to put an onion in it? Yes. Okay. What else are we going to put? That onion. Onion. And remember, I told you you could put the salt and pepper. So can you put some salt, please? This is salt. This is salt. Okay, pick the salt up and put salt in there. Oh. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, now we're gonna put pepper. 
A little bit more, a little bit more. Look at that. Oh, yes. How cool is that? I think that's good. Now, I think we need a little bit more salt. Olive. Yeah. Is that cool? Okay, that's good. Okay, now we're going to put onion in it. If you can hang tight just a minute. This? Wait, wait, wait. I've got to cut the onion up. Yes, hold on just a minute. Hang on. You did a good job. Good job. Good job, Riker. Oh, boy. You did a great job. Oh boy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, that's the way to do it. There's how you do it. You just stick it in your mouth. Yeah. Did you get it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh boy. More? Oh boy. More? Huh? What is it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Is that good? Is that good? Do you want to tell everybody happy birthday? You want to sing them the happy birthday song? Happy birthday. You going to do that? Hmm? Are you going to sing everybody the happy birthday song? Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You better get back up there. <laughs> Can you sing the happy birthday song? Huh? No, you're not singing today. to laugh. You do not choose a time in your life that you're trying to eat healthy and watch all those super simple, super good recipes. Oh my gosh. I want to make one of those angel food cakes right now. I want to make those banana nut muffins right now. Goodness gracious. Well, I want to remind y'all one thing before I leave today. Um, remember, August the 19th, noon, they're going to have lunch for you at the Chamber of Commerce in Pickens County. If you are a Pickens County school system employee, bring your family, bring your children, bring the folks, and come on out. This will be music by Matt Chastain, activities, games, family fun, sideburners barbecues doing the lunch, so you know it'll be amazing, cornhole tournament. A jumpy house and snow cones. So get out that day and know that Country Financial in Jasper appreciates you and appreciates what you do for our children, what you do for our school system, and to everybody who works in the school system. Great job, y'all. Get it together. Keep it together. And good luck. You've got a long way to go. This year is going to be long, but it'll be fun. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for going back with me as we remember the sweet moments in the kitchen with that sweet grandbaby. Get in the kitchen with your kids and your grandkids and make memories. I guarantee you it will bless you every time you think about it. I'll see you again soon, y'all. Bye.